Gear doesn't matter, right? Well, kinda. See, all these things are tools that we use to create something and sadly, they tend to get really expensive. So what matters most for me is price to performance. Spending as little as possible and getting the best result for that money. So let me tell you what I bring into the year of Twenty twenty four. All right. Since it presented it to me in this manner, let's start with this. It's a generic ass tripod. This is from a brand that we call Rolei. It's dirty, not too expensive. It's a, it's a generic ass, stupid ass photo tripod. You know, with Arca Swiss. I love Arca Swiss. Zoom into my face. Arca Swiss is the best thing that ever happened to photographers. Period. So, this is my backpack. It's a stupid ass backpack that I got from a local electronic shop. Uh, usually it's around 100 bucks, but I think I got it for like 70. And this, this thing packs a lot of shit. It's a Coleman. Coleman. The fuck does that mean? Coleman fits a lot of shit. Uh, just a just stupid ass. Who cares about the bag? Let's start with the most interesting thing in here, which is cameras. Whoa! How do I do this? How do I not kill everything that I own? Starting with my main camera that I had for, I don't know, like four years or something. This is the Canon 250D, or I think it's called the Rebel SL3. It came out 2019 or something, or 20, 2018. It's old by now. It doesn't do great videos, but it's good enough. And you get, you can get these for, Video-wise, this thing has pretty poor performance. The autofocus is great until you switch into 4K, which then gives you a stupid-ass crop and the worst rolling shutter in the history of forever. So I just use this for 1080p footage, scale it up into 4K, and no one notices. Haha. <laughs> Fuck you. But it's a good little daily driver. There are some flaws with it. I hate not having IBIS or Canon log, but... <laughs> My guy, I know it's, it's cheap. The second camera that I currently have is this. This is the Sony A6500, which is pretty expensive actually. But pro tip for everyone who does not have the money to buy new cameras, just go steal them because this isn't mine. I got it from a friend. He's not doing any photos and he has a black magic. So he just said, eh, I'm not using this. Here you go, you can have it. And I was like, hey, cool. <laughs> actually a little amazing little camera. Let's not talk about the lens because this is Sigma 30 mm f1.4 is a little bit, it has some flaws. But look at this. I can literally put this in my pocket. Oh, I have magnets in my ass. Boom, it's gone. Looks like I have a ginormous cancer thing. Supreme little package. The camera, I mean. <laughs> But honestly, in my opinion, the camera you use isn't actually <laughs> what. <laughs> to be honest, uh, this is just half of what makes your image. You need lenses, and let's start with my utmost favorite lens of forever. No, that's not it. Fuck you. Be gone. It's this one, the Sigma 18 to 35 f 1.8. This thing is amazing. I absolutely love this lens. It is supreme on every APS-C or Micro Four Thirds camera. I think if you have, if you own a Micro Four Thirds camera or an APS-C camera, you need this lens, period. It is so good. It's basically like having 27 prime lenses. It's super sharp. There's little to non-chromatic aberration. This is just the best lens for photographers and videographers, but it has no lens cap. I don't know where it went. Here's some pictures I took with this lens. second lens that I actually don't use that much, but it's literally my favorite focal length ever is the 70 to 200. I just love compressed shots and that's, that's it. That's the only reason I have this. It's for compressed shootings. It doesn't do much for wildlife or anything and the aperture, because this is an F4, isn't the best, but it's so much cheaper. If you go compare the prices, it's so much cheaper than a 2.8. Honestly, get this, get the F4 pictures, you'll be just fine. Here's some photos I took with this lens. Honestly, if you have these two, you're you're done. You don't need anything anymore. Get a cheap DSLR body, two zoom lenses, and you'll be just fine. Some people swear on their primes. Mm -mm. I'm a zoom man. 
Zooms? Let's get another zoom. Oh my God, what's this? It's the, it's another old cheap lens. It's a Sigma 10 to 20, which is a super wide and I just got this recently, but this lens is a lens that I actually wouldn't recommend. I got it because it has a fixed aperture at 3.5, but it has some flaws. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is not the best lens. If you go wide angle and you need, absolutely need a decent aperture at 3.5, this might be the one for you, but it does have extreme chromatic aberrations, especially in the sides. I chose this over the Canon one because again, the aperture, sadly, I had to sacrifice image stabilization, which is a huge bummer, but I cannot give you a full comprehensive review of this yet, because, again, just got this recently. Let's have a look at the backpack. Decent storage, and with decent, I mean, you can literally fit everything in here that you need. I got a lens cleaning set. I got my straps in here. Another thing that you would like to have is some filters. They fit in there perfectly fine. What else? Oh, wait, I got another lens. It's a vintage lens. And yes, I literally just put this in here because it's old and stinky anyway. So why clean it? There you go, vintage look whenever you need it. Got a little adapter for the EF systems. I have the vintage camera to this vintage lens and I even have more of these vintage lenses. And actually, I recently bought my first roll of films and I will make a video about that and you cannot stop me. Try. Oh, oh, the battery! You gotta get those extra batteries. I didn't even talk about the straps. Those are Peak Design straps. I absolutely love Peak Design straps. Please go and film what I'm gonna do now. You just put this on every little camera that you have, and then you just do ka -chong! And now you have a strap. You don't want this strap anymore? Oh, it's, it's gone. I got two versions of that, this little small for, the, for just a single hand and then the big one that goes all around your ass. The cool thing I like about this backpack actually is this sack thing in front of it, uh, on top of it. It's just like, sack. Look at all that. Look, look. All of this was in here. Just a, just a top, just a sack. I buy too much. <laughs> Please help me. I have financial problems. Let's start with the thing that's most interesting for me personally, which is microphones. And I use the DJI mics for lavaliers and transmitting any audio. We've got this dead cat that I usually don't carry around with me, except when I know I need it. It's fluffy and full of, oh my God. <laughs> fluffy and dusty. Fuck you for not fitting on my microphone correctly. This is my Rode thing. This is actually for the Rode, so you can, you know, talk into it like a real microphone. But I don't have a Rode, so I wrote DJI on it. Aren't I funny? Uh, this is my last microphone. This is actually one that I daily drive, and it looks broken. It's not broken. This is just tape, because this is actually loose, and it always, and I mean always, falls off in public. I hate it, but still, a budget little mic, I think was like, 80 bucks when it came out. So, still a really good clean little microphone. You could use that in the studio. Like, honestly, if it's rigged up, like over here, and you're like talking into it, it's a great mic. I'm not saying, it's just a little bit small. Tape, always have tape with you. Something that I would typically use tape for is, honestly, to tape this just randomly somewhere. This is a camera, this is a GoPro Hero 9. I, yeah, Hero 9 Black. I bought this for point of view photography kind of shit and I will use that for that. I did already, but I will, why do I talk like this? <laughs> the battery on this thing is actually pretty good. Like you can shoot for a few hours. And honestly, if it weren't so loud, I wanted to chuck this in the video, just throw it away because these are indestructible. I have yet to break any GoPro ever, I think. Um, another tripod. It's a stupid vloggy kind of shit. It's super cool what kind of shots you can actually get with them. Uh, yesterday we put this on the, on the ceiling, literally. But um, I made this Arca Swiss compatible because Arca Swiss, repeat after me kids, Arca Swiss is the best thing that ever happened to photography. Lights. These are my, these are my only lights I use. I'm not even kidding you. This, these are the only lights I use generally. That's it. Those were like 30 bucks. These are cheap. These are good. These are also RGB, which are incredibly helpful when doing anything creative, because you can, you know, paint with light. Photography, my man. But what's this actually? 
Oh, this is just a sack. I don't know how to end this video. We can end this video by me finding my lens cap. Here you go. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't find it. Subscribe.